Now with media, you'll often hear people talk about surface area and how much surface area has a media got. Now surface area is obviously a consideration, but the bigger consideration that nobody talks about is surface area to volume ratio. For example, in a media like this, if there was a larger surface area, then the oxygen would not be able to penetrate the media. Now the aim of these medias, such as the most advanced ones like Marine Pure, on the outside of the media, you're gonna form nitrifying bacteria with the presence of oxygen. On the inside of the media, you're gonna form denitrifying bacteria. But what we don't want is the oxygen level to get too low. Otherwise we get anoxic bacteria and that discharges hydrogen sulfide, which is poisonous. That's why I don't like any of the sulfate type medias. I prefer the inert medias. But once again, all your different companies are gonna have different claims and they're gonna say how much surface area they've got. Now, the ultimate surface area to volume ratio, according to the research of nanodynamics, is marine pure, which means if you're looking for a media that's gonna give you the best results, then I would either go for marine pure or I'd go for a media with as similar surface area ratios as marine pure because most of the aquarium companies have just copied marine pure marine pure is original or marine pure is still the best it's got the one that's actually had the research done to work out the perfect surface area to volume ratio and the other companies usually with the aquarium industry will just produce something that looks similar they'll throw claims on it that are generally highly unsubstantiated now if you email samco which is the producers of um of um, marine pure sur media just there then you will be able to get independent tests for most of the other products and the funny thing about most of the other products is that the claims that they state for their surface areas are generally completely off it's like they've just gone and made a guess um it's definitely much more driven by marketing than it's driven by any sort of R&D. But anyway, at the end of the day, surface area is not the most important thing. Surface area to volume ratio is the most important thing. So how much space versus how much surface is there? Because if there's too much space and not enough surface, you won't form those anox anaerobic zones. If there's too much, then you will form anoxic zones. Anyway, if you have any experience with biological filter medias or um or any experience that you've got using these medias put a little note at the bottom of this video um i think the go-to product is marine pure they come in blocks they come in um plates they come in balls they come in gems so no matter what filter you've got you've got a media that's going to be able to um fit perfectly in it and there's lots of other medias on the market. Um, they all gonna do something, but if I was you, I'd spend my money where the research has been put. And I run basically all my aquariums with Marine Pure now, and I get great results. You will hear people say stuff like, oh, it's got aluminium in it. Now, lots of other products have aluminium in it too, and a um, ICP test might come up and say you've got too much aluminium but I can tell you now that every single one of the aquariums that I service have got this product in it and some have got higher aluminium levels and others don't but all of them are doing well so ICP testing is still only new we're only just starting to understand these um, new tests um, aluminium will also tend to bond harmlessly to phosphate so even though you're getting a positive reading that isn't necessarily a problem Anyway, chuck a little note on the bottom of this video. What media do you use? Um, and if you're looking for a media, my advice is get this one. I love it. I get great results out of it. Any sort of filter, passive or active.